All right, we're going to show you how to program a relay in a 1575E conductivity controller uh, for biocide type feeds, or what we call scheduled feed. All right, a uh, quick reiteration of what things go on. Uh, you'll notice that the screen is currently showing that relay 3 is disabled, but by pushing the arrow key, I can scroll through and see how the controller is set up. The bottom half of the screen always indicates how the controller has been programmed previously. Uh, current date and time, which relays are active, which ones aren't, and so forth. Top uh, area is always the conductivity reading unless it's been disabled. All right, so to program a relay, we're going to program relay 3 to be used as a biocide feed. First I hit clear, and then I scroll down to relays. So in English, I want to mess with a relay, I go to a relay. Press enter, scroll down to relay 3, or I could just push relay 3, the number 3 on the keypad. Now this is currently disabled. We're going to turn this on as a feed schedule relay. So I will go to feed schedule, which is item 6. Press enter. Now the instruction says, see main menu for feed schedule. What I've done is tell the relay it's a feed schedule relay, or a time-based time relay, but I need to go now into the schedule itself and tell it how to act within that schedule. So I hit clear, clear again, clear again, the main menu, and I go down to the feed schedule, which is item three. All right, so now I can set up the cycle to be a day-based cycle, like uh, once every four days, once every three days. Uh, the entire cycle length uh, could be four days, and I'm gonna feed on the first and second day of those cycles. Or I can do it by day of week. This is currently set up by weekday. So as I look at the schedule, when I start scheduling the days to use, it'll be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, instead of day one, two, three, or four, or five of a particular day, day schedule. So now I'm gonna go down to the list of the schedule. I'll hit enter. The first item in my list is, of course, the first control scheme in my list. So I would go ahead and hit enter through this. Now the topmost item is asking for the relay. I use the arrow key to tell me which relay I can use. So relay three is the only one currently set up as a feed schedule relay. So the answer is either none or relay three. If another one had been set up, it could actually be as part of that drop down list as well. So I hit enter. The next one is my days. I use the arrow key to scroll up through which day I want to feed. Let's say I want to do Friday. So I've highlighted Friday. I hit enter. Now the start time is the start of my feed process. Now it's not necessarily the start time of my feed relay, what it's going to turn on. It's when I'm starting my timed uh, or time-based feed at. So I'm going to go ahead and put in uh, 11 o'clock. Enter. Now, conductivity set point. Normally your conductivity set point, and let's, let's use this example, may be 2,000 micromoles. During my feed schedule, or my scheduled biocide feed, there's a certain amount of time that the uh, uh, system's gonna be disabled from doing blowdown and conductivity type control. And during that time, there may be evaporation occurring, so the conductivity would come up quite high by the time the end of my uh, pumped in time, my, my chemical feed time, and my sk entire schedule time had come to an end. So what I can do is a, what we call a pre-bleed. I'm gonna blow the power down lower than normal so that during the rest of this cycle, the conductivity can creep back up, and hopefully at the end of the cycle, it'll kind of come out of the biocide feed cycle and be right on conductivity again. So let's say my normal conductivity was 2,000. In this instance, I might put in 1,500 as my new conductivity. Now I'm gonna give that, that conductivity a certain amount of time to reach that new level. So I'm normally running 2,000 micromoles. I'm gonna let it bleed down to 1,500 micromoles and I'm gonna say, you know what, you have 45 minutes to do that. And if it doesn't do it in 45 minutes, at the end of that 45 minutes, I'm gonna progress into, into the next step of my biocide feed schedule, because I really don't have time to mess with it. All right, so it's just kinda, of, you've got two levels of control here. If you hit the 1500 micromole level immediately, then it would just maintain it for the next 45 minutes. All right, so either way, you've got a safety cork. All right, now my next one is, how long do I want the chemical three relay to come on and pump in chemistry? So let's, let's put in there, I'm gonna let it pump for 15 minutes. All right, and then my lockout time. How long do I wanna not blow down and do chemical control 
while this stuff circulates and does its job. And that may, time may be as long as, let's say, an hour. One, zero, zero. And you press enter. There. Now, if I wanted to feed the same chemical on Thursday or uh, Tuesday, let's say, I go down to the next step in the chemical feed uh, schedule, hit enter, I go ahead and use relay three, and then for my day, I picked Thursday or Tuesday. So now it's Tuesday, and I would finish the rest of my steps. So I can have multiple days. Each line of that feed schedule allows me to enter a new time and date a new uh, 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 set point, all those parameters, and I can have, uh, uh, let's see here, we got I think 15 or 20 of these actual steps that you can go through to have the chemical feed at various times and dates. And that's pretty much it. Now one of the things you need to remember is the conductivity, or the, sorry, the flow switch needs to be operating in order for the biocide timer, the feed schedule, to operate. So if the controller does not have flow to it, it won't feed the biocide. So if you picked an odd time uh, in the middle of the night for it to feed, and that's normally shutdown time, you are going to miss your scheduled feeds. All right, thanks for your time.